Hello everybody and welcome to a channel update. This is just going to be a little recap of what's going to be going on over the next few weeks and months and how the channel's been doing, as well as thanking you guys for getting me very close to 2,500 subs. We're probably going to hit it in the next week or so, maybe a little longer, but I really want to say thank you very much uh, to all of you out there that have been supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, and yeah, it's been an absolutely great journey. I mean, since Farewell to Arms, obviously things haven't been as booming, but they've still been doing well and I think uh, we've been getting like 100 subs a month or so and that's been really really nice uh, but now I want to get into some extra things that's going to be going on with the channel um, in the coming future so one I want to talk a little bit briefly about my thumbnails um, as you can see by the, um, the thumbnail of this video got all my characters in there the guy that makes most of those uh, skull he's unfortunately um, not available for the next foreseeable how long however long this lockdown is going um, he, he's not going to be available for the vast majority of the time, um, which means that my thumbnail art for characters may not be as high quality or may not even have custom thumbnail art like, uh, like I have been doing for most of my series recently. If anyone else is out there that does want to lend their hand in helping with that and, um, if you're an artist and you really want to, um make some turtle melon based art for different games out there then please do let me know uh, but yes unfortunately that might, that is going to slow down a little bit in the coming videos but the next big thing i want to speak about is a series idea that i've had so i actually started playing darkest dungeon again recently and i got into um, modding it and uh, trying out some of the, the new custom characters and a few other various bits and bobs in the modding community and i've been really 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 enjoying it i've been having such a good time and you can see some gameplay in the background here as I speak um, and yeah I've just been loving the game so much and I, I sought out some content I, I wanted to watch some, some Darkest Dungeon content, content on YouTube and I found a guy called Christopher Odd he has his own Darkest Dungeon series out there and he actually had a pretty unique take on a series where he would incorporate some role play and some character backstories into the game as he played it and I really want to do my own take of that uh, full credit to him for the idea I'm not trying to steal it away from him it's definitely his original idea at least from what I know of I haven't seen anyone else do anything like it but I really want to do my own take on it so basically the idea would be that um i would play darkest dungeon with with all the mods that i've got going on and you guys uh, and including me not not just you guys but me as well would write um come up with names and write backstories for all the different characters that we have and the each week their stories would progress with like different diary entries and how their experience in the darkest dungeon in the dungeon has affected their personal health and how they've grown to know and uh, get used to their situation and just how how they have developed as a person um of course it would be a pretty big um thing to take on if we're doing massive backstories for everyone so it doesn't have to be anything super detailed um you only need some short backstories, really. And basically, the way that that's going to work is either you can leave them in the um, in the comments of the videos as they come out. I'll be doing this most likely be a once a week series, just like the rogue like roulette is. Um, and yeah, people could leave comments in the in the um, in the comments section after the video talking about. A character that we've just obtained and giving it a backstory and a name and it's just something to make it personal um, and the better way to do it actually would be if you if you're not already in my discord go and join it if you go into there and let me know that you're willing to come up with backstories and willing to work on this uh, darkest dungeon playthrough then i will add you into a special group about a special channel on the discord where we've already got a few people and myself and we'll be coming up with different backstories you can uh, get feedback of other people and we can collect a nice big amount we've already got multiple backstories ready to go for specific characters and um, of course i do have a lot of modded characters installed but all of those are actually listed with links to their steam pages in this discord so if you really do want to help out please do go over and uh, and check that out one thing i do have to say as well um any of you that do want to get involved obviously you can do as little or as much as you like but it, it would really be nice if we could get a few four or five maybe dedicated people that were really invested in the series we've already got potentially two or three people but if we could just get a few more invested people that are willing to come back to the series week by week and add more and more to it yeah, i think it would really make this series enjoyable fun and just add a whole 
whole new sense of role play and self-preservation for the characters it'd make us want to keep them alive and keep them going um i'm gonna read out one of the backstories by uh nick from my um from my discord here this will give you a good idea of uh, a backstory to come up with so this is for the hound master in darkest dungeon the hound master's name is matthew he started his life in a small village known across the land for its hounds in the village, they would hold annual hunts, and Matthew was intrigued by the spoils at stake if he won the competition. Um, from a young age, his dog Ace had been a loyal companion, and to enter him into the hunt would be his best chance. But he played by his own rules and went against the trusting nature of those in his village, cheating, stealing, and tricking the rest to win. The townsfolk found out about his sinful deeds, and he was exiled until he found his way back onto the rightful path and was worthy of return. Shortly after he found out about what was promised if he was to return, he found out about the adventures to the darkest dungeon. So there's just a, a, a sort of initial backstory. It's only short, it's nothing too complicated, it just gives the, gives the person a name and a sense of who they are and why they are in the Darkest Dungeon. So if any of you want to get involved, please do let me know, that'd be great. Um, on another note, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the Roguelike Roulette series. I'm glad you guys seem to be really liking that. I'm glad that um, people have taken to Risk of Rain being added into the mix. I do just want to say, if you have any other games that you really, really want me to play in Roguelike Roulette, please do leave them in the comments of this video or any of the Roguelike, video, Roguelike Roulette videos for that matter. Once every four to six weeks, we'll be switching out a game if uh, something, something interesting comes along or pe people really want me to play that game. And then normally I put up a poll on my Discord so again, if you're not in there, you can join there and uh, get involved with the poll and vote for which game you want to be uh, added into the mix and or actually vote for which game you want taken out of the mix as well. But yes, I hope you guys like this little update and again, thank you for getting me to 2,500 subscribers and yeah, um, please do let me know what you think of this series idea and who'd want to get involved and I will see you guys in the next one.